so good day guys in this video i'll be teaching you how you can publish an app with the community goal console account so once you have click on the create the app then put in the app name you want here yes you put on the app this app is no copyright fantasy sound then is it an app or a game this is an app then you follow all the step down is it free or paid make sure because you read this your policy if it's a paid app you cannot change if it's a free app you cannot change it to a pay app then you agree with your policy after which you click the down button that says create app then you're going to reload and take it to the next page so in this part you see different section but you're going to choose this section that says set up your app yes so once you choose this section that says set up your app you click on that view tax so you have to complete all these tasks before your app can be published. First of all, click on the privacy policy. So you're going to put the privacy policies of your application. So if you cannot get a privacy policy, you can actually use this very one I'm using. Now you can copy it and just use it. Yeah, it's work for almost all app. You understand? Then you save it and you go back to your dashboard. Then you scroll down, you click on app assets. So how can users accept this very application you're publishing? So you click on all functionality in this app is without restrictions. So if you're on this restriction, you can actually do that too. But most of my app is without restriction. Then the add part, the same thing. My app does not it have advertisement. Then you go on the content rating. Yeah. So this part is the content rating. Then you start a questionnaire that will ask you some questions about this application. They will ask you to put your email there. So just fill in the email there. Please put in your email because they can do some verification. Don't copy this email you see on the screen. Then is it a game or any other type of app? So this is all type of app. Then I'll ask you some questions. So about the app download, you have any age restriction? No. Then users content? No. Online content? No. For this app, promotion of age restriction product? No. Malicious app, no, then other digital goals, search engine or educational app. So just take them. No, if it's an educational app, make sure you click that is an educational app. Save it and then click on the next button to go to the next part. Then submit this content rating. Then it will take you back to your dashboard again. Yes. So now you go to the next, which is target audience. So it's going to show you the age so 16 17 18 and above that's what i normally choose then click on next then you know just click on yes to be in the safer path click on yes in this very part and next and you understand you're gone you save it and you're done then you go to the next tax that say is it a new news app though so this is not a news app so i'll click on no if your app is a news app you click on yes it's not a news app so it's no and I'll go to the next tax. COVID-19 contact tracing status. Just click the last one. My app is not a COVID-19 app. Then that's all. Just go to the very simple data safety. Yeah, this very one. You need more, more attention to this part, the data safety. So they're going to ask you a number of questions on your applications. You understand? So to get this very simple, easy i've already downloaded we have already answered this question if i which is easy if i that's one on upload right now so this is if i once i click on it and i upload it all the questions will be answered so if you need that file you can also dm me to get that file you just ask for the csv file i will give you now see that the answers of all the questions that are going to ask on that is that as if the part has already been answered because it's going to take some time so yeah, answered already as you can see yes no no yes and the rest is as some question concerning the app that's we really going to save your data for your user data sorry so once you're done with those part two you just have to click back and now it's your app a government application no this is app is not in behalf of government or any health care or parking or anything so it's a no then you also go back yes now we are going to the next part so you're going to store settings so it's an app or a game it's an app what type of app so you choose the type of app. It's an audio and music application 
then you ask for your email address you can also include your phone numbers or your website anyone but i just put my email address not put your email address because they might need some verification you understand don't use the one you see on the screen then after which you can add tags to it the tags allow people to search this you have on the google play store and actually find it so the tag also put music and audio so that when users search for music and audio this my app will be among this app in that category so you understand then you save it then you go to the final part you understand to so screw down yes to so set up your store lasting that's kind of the final part right now so in sets up your store lasting they are going to ask you more of a question like the apne description short videos they just show you some ways to follow there and they show you their policies so there are some 30 things you should not do right here and there are some things you should do so once you make a mistake they will tell you that this you're doing is a mistake like the description there are some words you should not use like pricing and the rest then the image have some you know the length and the breadth of this image so you just fill in exactly what they want then i have other video about that that can teach you how to set up all this thing up then you just save and you go back so after you're done with that part then you scroll down to create and publish this app that's the place you can publish your app to google play store so that place you just click on view tax so you select region and country first the countries you want this your app to be shown you understand if you want this app to be shown in only in your country that is nigeria you can choose it if you want it to be shown worldwide you can choose it so for safety and for you know people to use the app i just use all country then just add everything done on it you understand then these are the country that has been targeted for this application to be used so when this country has been set up then you just go back then it will ask you to create new release so this release part is the part you're going to end because this part is only the admin that can give you access to this part so once you are in this part you're going to say two things to the admin which is the app apk file that the apk and the aab file so that the admin can actually check if this app is complicated or is okay with the google console policy if it's okay the admin is going to publish this app by its own self for you so this part is for you to handle now the other parts to publish this app is for the admin because look at it if everybody is going to publish this app by themselves and this app have issues this whole console account is going to be terminated i think if you have up to about four suspension or 40 rejection of app they are going to terminate and every app in this account will be lost so because of that and because of safety you only have access to a dd app but the publishing is just the admin so once you are done with this part you're going to send the admin the message following the link below just sending a message that i'm done sending your app apk and you understand and the ab5 for you to check it if you check this app that this app is okay you will go ahead and publish it but if it's not okay it's going to tell you the correction you need to do in your application and once you've done this correction then this your app will be live on the play store you understand not to take up to about let me say less than two days or you have to be published or live and it take up to about 24 hours for the admin to actually check it you understand so what is everything about publishing your app with the google console group community account so it's nice doing the publishing and i wish you more success in your coding see you in the next video my name is Enes gabriel and thank you for watching this video